It's your boy Indian Gunner in the house back with another bang on transfer news video all about Arsenal stuff. Well, to all the Gunners who are new to this channel, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. So, whenever I would, uh, you know, this is the best, best way to connect. Uh, I have seen that uh, many of my subscribers are and many of my viewers are from uh, different parts of Africa. Namaste, welcome to my channel. I am really overwhelmed by the way uh, that. Uh, uh, my channel has panned out and uh, I think these audiences that are coming from various parts of the world You're welcome to this channel. I hope you're enjoying and I hope you're having great time with us And it is a privilege to uh, tell you guys all about Arsenal our beloved club We all love the club don't we but uh, nonetheless, I think uh, we have been some we have done some uh, uh, good uh, link ups with great players uh, in the recent transfer market news but anything new coming to coming into uh, the market anything new uh, that is coming i indian guna will be providing you that so if you still haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe to this channel tell your friends who are arsenal fans to support them openly this is the time when our club needs our fans the most so if you, if they can connect with me through this platform i can definitely you know uh, make sure that you know uh, they have the best experience and the best knowledge about our club possible so let's go towards the video comes to Silvino well that is absolutely astonishing Lauren Koscielny has agreed personal terms with Ren that is exactly what the transfer market says but nonetheless I think recently uh, Bordeaux chief had uh, mentioned about Lauren Koscielny he said that Yes, we are in the market for a centre back, but uh, Lauren Koscielny is not their man. Lauren Koscielny is not the player that they are looking for. He loves the experience about him. He loves how, uh, how how he brings a lot on the table for any team. But Bordeaux are not interested in Lauren Koscielny. So that's about it about Lauren Koscielny. He's definitely going to France, but not to Bordeaux. Maybe at Rennes or Lyon. We are about to see that in this uh, coming weeks. I think less than three weeks uh, to go. And I hope, I hope we get some good amount of money for Lauren Koscielny. Nonetheless, let's go towards the next news. Alex Iwobi has actually hit out on the news and public agencies who have actually misinterpreted what he said. He believes and he states, and I quote, fake news, clickbait, my words were twisted. I welcome all the world class players that come to Arsenal and no, I have not said something like I would threaten to leave the club or no I was not saying that I am quite unsettled with those news of Wilfred Zaha coming into the club that would be a stress uh, I think uh, the point was that he was saying that it will be a competition and he would fight for his place that's exactly what he was trying to say yeah I think uh, there, there are times where uh, players get misinterpreted by the media that's what the media is for so nonetheless I think Arsenal fans don't need, don't need to be afraid about Alex Iwobi going anywhere but nonetheless we are actually being linked with more and more players that could un uh, unsettle some players but it's actually good it's, you need to have that competition you need to provide your best foot forward every game and don't let the game go away you got to prove yourself I think this also applies to every senior is there in the team even Mesut Ozil and everyone they need to be feared that they will get substituted or no don't get any game time at all so let's go on with the next news West Ham are looking to sign Mohamed Al Neni. The 55k per week earning midfielder is actually, uh, you know, West Ham are looking for somewhere around 10 million euro bid, and they believe that they can land Mohamed Al Neni, take him, give us some cash, let him be at least by that way he can add some value in Arsenal by at least you know getting sold off. That is the best part of Mohamed Al Neni that he can. The only time that Mohamed Al Neni can become useful for Arsenal is by getting sold. Period. Let's go on with the next news. Arsenal have actually bid for Moisa Keane. It is believed that uh, uh, Juventus believe that Moisa Keane is superb, so they would like to sell him off, but would want a buyout clause, buyback clause of somewhere in the region of 40 million euros. But it is there is a twist in the tale arsenal can buy out the player by paying though that 40 million euros and not including the buyback clause well that is actually a very good uh, good way to do it but my question is why do you need moisa keen you're looking for wide attackers centrally you got Aubameyang, you've got lacazette eddie and ketia is proving a hell lot hell lot for himself to making a case for himself you have your third striker 
if you want you got joe willock you can play in that position if you don't want joe willock you can play in the midfield area but you need to understand that you have the third striker the fourth one is bukayo saka you can still loan him out but still he could be the fourth option they are hungry for more why the hell do you need another teenager moisa keen i know he's an exciting exquisite talent with great pace but i believe arsenal have everything in their squad at least a third striker is there in the squad we don't need to look elsewhere let's go on with the next news hertha berlin are actually looking for rees nelson to loan uh, and you know uh, play him in their uh, club this season they believe that rees nelson had been superb for hoffenheim and hertha berlin also want rees nelson to uplift them from the misery that they are in the bundesliga while well, i believe uh, i hope i hope rees nelson is being used somewhere else where i'll let you know in my next news but i believe uh, rees nelson is not taking his chances he's getting his chances but even against uh, fiorentina he did not uh, make his chances count these are the chances to improve eden nketi is taking it bukayo saka is taking it villa is taking it alainka is taking it bertrand is taking it but rees nelson is not So if you want to go on loan next season as well and not to make a case of for yourself during these important games all the best to you Reece Nelson and more power to you other teams uh, to sign him for a loan next news Camden Town Brewery has actually signed a sponsorship deal with Arsenal and it turns out that the, uh, that the initial uh, period in the whenever the fans would be going to Emirates stadium they would be providing the brewery the beer the beverage would be superb from their side and they are very much excited about it and nonetheless they will give one fan an exquisite lifetime beer and they 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 would provide uh, you know uh, tickets as well so i think i think if you guys are from that area uh, watch out because there's a brewery coming out and i think many people are excited about it but i don't understand whoever li- loves it i think would like it but nonetheless let's go on with the next news Yasin Brahimi was seen at Qatar well uh, he will sign for Al Rayyan a, a, a football side and that uh, blows uh, his chances of signing for Arsenal well we all were speaking about a 3 million sign on fee that is what he was seeking about but nonetheless he wants a move elsewhere he wants to go to Qatar to play again uh, to play with Al Rayyan all the best Yasin um, i don't know do we say all the best to the players who are linked with us my good will let's go on with the next news mykola shaporenko the midfielder is actually uh, 20 years of age had scored eight goals and three assists in the 33 appearance last season is actually linked with arsenal well nonetheless not only arsenal i think two more clubs are also uh, running for his signature while well, he has been quite good enough i don't think so 20 years of age midfielder don't look elsewhere i think we have a great a great midfield uh, in the squad but i want to see an attacking midfield i don't know emil smithro is ready or not but nonetheless i think an attacking box to box midfielder is the need of the hour if arsenal could sign one or could snap up otherwise i think arsenal can attack from the wide wide wider areas because they're linked with wingers more often so let's go on with the next news william saliba's medical is about to happen tomorrow yes tuesday the day confirmed that william saliba will have his medical well arsenal can pay the whole amount in parts so that they do not get stressed upon with the transfer budget throughout the whole uh, this season and nonetheless well why those areas why those why this news is confirmed because ainsley metlen niles pierre emerick obamiang and alexander lacazette were seen in the united states of america uh well they were watching an sanchetian game and saliba was spotted there so i think i think news are nothing but confirmed well we are we are about to see that but nonetheless i think a medical is due tomorrow so if everything happens good i think we have a very good future prospect next season but i'm just worried about this season where do we finish do we get champions league next season or not we are about to see that let's go on with the next news Well, Arsenal have made a new bid for Kieran Tierney, 25 million. Yes, but this includes too many add-ons. Okay, and one of the clauses is that Arsenal must qualify into the Champions League when that clause gets activated, and only then that add-on money will be given to Celtic. And Celtic believe that that is too realistic to be true, and uh, us and Celtic are not buying this premise. And uh, Kenny Dalglish has actually spoken about this. He said that Celtic have every right to play ball. with arsenal to play to play hard ball with arsenal because 
Kieran Tierney is their greatest player in the current squad and he is none less than Virgil van Dijk, Moussa Dembele, the greatest talent that came from Celtic and I think Celtic are doing their correct, I think Celtic are correct in their situation that is what Kenny Dalglish said. I hope we land Tierney because I think he's rated too much and I hope he is, he, he can shine in the Premier League. Uh, to be honest, but I think we require a full back. So if we can get that that much amount of money, and I hope if we can add to the value, then yes, Kieran Tierney should. Uh, I think we should be uh, sealing the deal with Kieran Tierney because it is something where we are reaching the valuation, but we are not. I think some some millions we are not paying upfront, and Celtic want something upfront. So I hope I hope the deal falls uh, falls correctly for both the clubs, and uh, they both agree for Kieran Tierney to be an Arsenal player soon. Let's go on to the next exciting news. Arsenal have bid another uh, new uh, offer for uh, signing Wilfred Zaha. Well, it is 55 million uh, pounds plus, plus, I think out of, out of the 55 million pounds, uh, 10 million will be add-ons with certain various criterias and various clauses attached to that. Plus, Reese Nelson offered on loan. Yes. One whole season, Rhys Nelson will be offered on loan just so that Crystal Palace get their time to actually uh, sign and buy off another replacement for Wilfred Zaha. If they don't get that, they will have all lots lots of trouble. And that's the reason why we are offering Rhys Nelson for a season loan. But nonetheless, not only not only Rhys Nelson, we have offered Bukayo Saka or Carl Jenkinson. And Carl Jenkinson, I think Roy Hudson is looking out to for a cash plus a player deal. And they would be interested in that because they need to refill the squad because Van Bissaka has left. And if Zaha goes, that's another big name that is that could leave Crystal Palace this season. So it is all tied up where exactly and everything is just about to be smeared. But nonetheless, Bayern Munich have entered the race to sign Wilfred Zaha. Yes, they are looking uh, well. They know that their two wingers are actually retired and they are looking interested. Uh, to sign a winger. Leroy Sané does not look like uh, going to Bayern and they are also looking for Nicolas Pepe but nonetheless I think uh, they are interested in Wilfred Zaha as well. Well, let me uh, actually introduce another segment uh, into this uh, channel. Well, I just had a conversation with uh, Sultan of Glory. Uh, congratulations Sultan of Glory. I think we had a very good conversation today. He has mentioned that yes, Arsenal should look into a centre back, should definitely go for a box to box midfielder and definitely a winger. And I also suggested some uh, some points of mine. And I also spoke with him about Olainka, Burton. He's quite impressed with that. And also he has mentioned that uh, uh, the importance of Lacazette in the team. And you know we had a conversation where I suggested him that uh, should Lacazette play a number ten position because he's great in that position. His back heels, his flips, his touches can provide a hell lot of uh, deal uh, and I think yeah he also believes the same but he still believes that Lacazette's finishing is very great so I think if you guys comment uh, I would name you and you know we can have a good conversation which I can highlight it on my every video this is the new segment where I uh, you know if, if the comments come in and if I reply to them and they reply back we have a good conversation I will discuss it in my video so to whoever who is not subscribed to this channel who is just watching this video please comment and let your views fire in your views about Arsenal Arsenal's transfer news Arsenal's squad news whatever you feel about Unai Emery's plans whatever you feel about Raul Sanyahi's plans what do you think about Josh Kroenke, Stan Kroenke anything that is related to Arsenal what do you think about Indian Gunnar everything just let me know in the comment section I would be waiting and I would be dying to reply you guys please uh, make sure that you comment so that you get featured into the video I'll name you as well and I believe I'm quite honored to have some group subscribers who are commenting uh, and thank you Peter Lee loved your comments uh, and uh, and John Chindamba hi friend uh, 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 you're from South Africa right uh, love from India to all the subscribers you've been so kind to me and uh, thank you for sticking with this channel for a very long time I hope you're not disappointed with whatever I do and to the new subscribers please subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon wherever you are you can uh, be connected to this beautiful family of Indian Gunnar and nonetheless the beautiful army of Arsenal fans so subscribe hit the bell icon and wait for my next video tomorrow cheers